For me, what makes Sacred Hills approach winemaking unique is the fact that our wine, our Chardonnay, comes from one vineyard, the Rifleman's Vineyard, family owned. The Mason brothers um, identified the land 30 years ago, old volcanic soils, the vines are planted, and the vines have now been there, established for 30 years, and they're, they're a real essence of the land, and that's what the wine is, it's the essence of the land. Being in the New World Wine Awards and getting a gold medal in the top 50 means an awful lot for the team. Um, we are dancing around the winery, we're, we're fizzing with excitement because we know that we've done a fantastic job, that we, everyone can have a, a pat on the back all the way from the vineyard through to the people that put it into the bottle. We've been growing wine or making wine from this vineyard now for 30 years. Uh, we know what fruit, know what characters we get from that vineyard. We know what oak we need to get the best possible wines. So we're, we're pretty confident that we can achieve really good consistency year in, year out, even when it's a difficult vintage. I think it's just a quintessential Hawke's Bay Chardonnay. It is a, the essence of the Rifleman's Vineyard. It just sings Chardonnay flavours. It's nice, rich stone fruit, citrus characters, and it's just a taste of summer in the glass. Perfect for every day. We have, if you like, a French tradition. So the first winemakers here were, were French, and they established the mission here uh, in the 1850s and went on to make some wine for their own use and for, for altar wine. So we've carried on that tradition. I was trained by the previous winemaker, who was one of the brothers. He trained in Bordeaux in France in the 1960s, and I was very much under his influence and his style of winemaking. Yeah, I've carried on, um, I think, with this tradition, I really like it. We're really delighted with this New World Wine Award gold medal for this Chardonnay of ours, because it's such a great show and it's so focused towards the consumers. There's got to be a reasonable volume of it made, it's got to be uh, easily available. And the great thing is, it's a price point that's going to be affordable to uh, most consumers. I'd like them to experience an array of complex aromas, nothing that sticks out too much, nothing too oaky or buttery, something that's uh, fresh in the mouth, goes very, very well with food and is great to uh, consume or drink amongst company.